So John, uh, can you give us a, just a quick introduction about uh, who you are and what you do at Microsoft Canada? Uh, absolutely. Thanks, uh, Brian. Um, so the National Security Officer role, uh, there's really one of me in the country and, and one of uh, my role in multiple subsidiaries, some of the major subsidiaries around the world. And uh, you know, the leadership team here really charges uh, myself uh, here in Canada with building trust in technology with Canadians and Canadian organizations. And so uh, I wear a lot of different hats, uh, pretty interesting role, especially these days with sort of everything that's, that's going on in terms of not just the technical side, but the policy side. Um, we spend a lot of time on, um, you know, working on uh, compliance and regulation, regulated markets. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working with the feds right now, finishing up with the protected B assurance for cloud. We've got a couple of data centers here in Canada. Um, I do all the industrial security programs related to that. Uh, a lot of public speaking in terms of sort of what Microsoft is doing uh, at the global level, and really my job is to translate that to what's meaningful for organizations here in Canada. Canada, okay, so Canadian yeah. market. Wonderful. Yeah. So uh, obviously today we are talking about cyber threat intelligence. Yeah. Right? So what's your definition about a cyber threat intelligence, and uh, why is that so important? Uh, you know, that it's it's a I guess it's a it's a big term. It's used a lot uh, in a lot of different ways. I think uh, in the industry today, and certainly Microsoft. Um, you know, we are not a you know at many respects. I think we're the largest security company that uh, organizations haven't heard of. Uh, we don't necessarily go to market as a security company, but we build you know secure services and secure products. On the cloud, and all that. the cloud, oh, yeah, and, and right. even if things like Windows 10 right. uh, today is the massive amount of security in investments that have, that have been put in place, and. Um, you know, we made some, you know, some big announcements. That's RSA. I'm going to talk about uh, those a little bit. Things like Microsoft Threat Experts and Azure Sentinel, which is our, you know, first native cloud-based SIM, mm -hmm. uh, which is really, you know, intended to sort of transform the, the security operations center. But from a threat intelligence perspective, we don't th directly sell, you know, threat feeds like a lot of other vendors do. But we certainly um, do a lot of engineering and have a threat intelligence center and teams that um, take all of that signal that we generate from customers, right. or that customers generate as part of the use of our products and services, mm -hmm. uh, not just across you know the, the typical like Office 365 and Azure, but also uh, consumer services, being search engine, mm -hmm. all the work we do on the policy side and digital crimes unit, working with law enforcement. So we sort of fuse all that together right. and use you know uh, not to overuse the term machine learning, but um, you know there's a lot of uh, that's being used effectively um, throughout that that uh, that sort of portfolio and so I think our, you know, where we uniquely differentiate is certainly we have lots of big numbers I think everybody sort of claims big numbers today in terms of you know the num number of customers and, and the amount of you know graph node database uh, of, of uh, Intel that they have we just have a massive diversity mm -hmm. um, set and that's kind of what I'm going to talk about today is sort of this paradigm shift around these controls these security controls um, how you know we've kind of shifted away from traditional um, security products that are baked with intellectual you know rules and algorithms baked into um, these sort of learning systems that really are fed by the customer's use of uh, these systems. So it's really important when you're looking at uh, these security products to also look at um, you know who else is using them because right. who else is using them is uh, very useful for uh, how effective these things are. So not only understand technology, but under the people are you, who are the people using that technology? Absolutely. And so the thing with threat actors, threat actors typically target certain sectors, certain domains, certain mm -hmm. industries, like the financial sector, the energy sector. And so you're going to be want to be operating in a cloud service where, or you know, with a particular set of products that you know there's a lot of other um, organizations within your industry that use them because it's all the bad stuff that they see that helps protect you from those okay. same actors. Yeah, so, wonderful. And um, since you come to the cyber tech risk uh, platform, so do you have anything to say to our members, especially for who cannot make for tonight's event? Uh, do you have any? Yeah, yeah well, I'm certainly happy to be here. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be back at some time in the future. Uh, this is just one topic of sort of many that were, were, were top of mind for, for customers that mm -hmm. we're uh, also talking about here. Uh, and uh, I try to keep uh, a pretty active LinkedIn profile going, so you know, reach out to me on LinkedIn and, and follow. I've been writing quite a few more articles lately okay. that are very f specific to Canada, not just you know here's the latest product or feature. It's mm -hmm. uh, the last one was around uh, with end of life for SQL Server and Windows Server coming up pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a big change. No more security updates. There's still a lot of that okay. infrastructure in place across Canada. And then uh, we launched a new compliance portal for all of the Canadian specific regulatory uh, and uh, privacy related uh, things that we're doing to uh, share some of the, those artifacts. 
for sure our member will obviously connect with our expert to learn more from, yeah. from Microsoft. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.